tumultuous finish to this Daytona 500 in which Austin Sindrick is the champion. What a way to start your rookie season, Daytona 500 champion. How's it feel? It feels incredible. I mean, my passions don't go any further than racing in, in my career, and I'm so proud to be part of this team and to be able to win on the biggest stage in front of a sellout crowd. It's pretty special. You do it on Roger Penske's birthday. So. Happy birthday, Roger. <laughs> what kind of conversations did you have right after the race? Oh man, just happy birthday and a big old hug. Hey, happy birthday. Thank you for everything. Hey, paid off for working with Blaney. Yes, sir. He's been so much more to me in, in my life than just a team owner. You know, I've known him since I was at a very young age and uh, I've learned a lot through example from, from, from what he does and how he carries himself. The, the leadership, the presence that he brings, but also the way he treats his people. And I think that's why our team is so strong is, is because it's such an easy leader to follow. And if I can be half the man that Roger Penske is, I'd call life a success. And you're adding to the legacy of your family with your father and, and your grandfather and everything they've been able to accomplish. What does that mean to now be part of that legacy cemented with this? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you can't take it back. You can't take the ring back. You can't take the trophy back. They're mine. They told a 500 <laughs> what the sports meant to my family on, on both sides and the things that I've seen and experienced in, in, in my life and the races that I've been able to witness, you know, to be able to come here and win in the biggest race of the year, it's incredible. It's hard to put into words and it's a, it's a life's worth of work, I can tell you that much and very fortunate and very humbled to be able to be here. It's all about a learning process for you because this wasn't your first Daytona 500 and it wasn't your first cup race. So what did you learn that you were able to use to your advantage here today? I learned a lot about my team. I would say it was a fairly lonely off season because I was around a lot of new people and I was a new guy on the team and I'm the rookie on the cup series side. So to do this on our first gig together is pretty special. Uh, hopefully that doesn't raise the expectations too high because there's still gonna be plenty of highs and lows in rookie season. Take me through those final couple laps because it's all about teamwork in a race like this where you're working with your teammates with Penske. And then at the end, it's every man for himself because this is the Daytona 500. What were the conversations like? What were you seeing and doing there? Yeah, I'll be honest, coming to the final restart, I wasn't expecting Ryan to want to do a teammate restart. In hindsight, I do think it was the best opportunity for him to win the race. Clear, down, down, down. Sindrick gets down in front of Blaney. Here comes Blaney. I think the bottom lane was really strong on the restarts, especially if guys were able to tan him together and it gave him a shot to be able to be close to me off of turn four to make a move. And once I took the white flag, everybody just backed off of me and I had to bail out of the gas because I was starting to get a pretty big, easy lead. And at that point, you realize that you're on your own, even at that point, even before the lap has ended. So for me, that was that was the biggest thing, being able to keep people lined up on for turn four. I knew that's what it was gonna come down to and glad the plan was executed well and it worked. Already booked your way through to the playoffs, so how does this change your outlook, your approach the rest of the way this season? Uh, I certainly think it gives me the opportunity to be patient. You know, I want to go out and try and win every single race just like everybody else does, but I would sit here and tell you realistically that's probably not going to be the case. But I think it gives me the opportunity to be patient throughout the learning process and, and really be able to take everything in because it's really easy to get caught up in the moment and not take in all the small details and make sure you're learning everything you need to. But I'd say now I have more of an excuse to do that, more of an excuse to have that mindset, and um, I think it'll pay off for us. Yeah. It's already got your name on it. Dude, that's badass. No, thank you, dude. Where I lost my voice. We've only done two hats. I know the celebration has already begun, but how do you envision celebrating this thing through the night and through the week? I have no idea. All I know is that my specific team, if I've learned anything about these guys and being with them for a couple months, they do like to have a good time. <laughs> so something tells me I'm going to experience what a good time looks like on the two team. Did you pack for an extra day to celebrate? Or I what? did not pack for an extra day. <laughs> I have extra underwear. That's it. So I'll be wearing my clothes from, from today for, for tomorrow's uh, activities. But um, yeah, certainly I'm not that cocky. So I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm cocky at all, honestly. So I was ready to leave. Sign of a chance right there if you're wearing the same thing tomorrow you're wearing today everyone knows something great happened congratulations Austin. oh thanks Josh <laughs>